for children getting access to prosthetics, there are so many hurdles for them to be able to find the right fit. And at Limitless, we're trying to reimagine what a prosthetic can be, what it can look like, in the hopes of being able to build something more than just the sum of its parts, but something that has expression and character to it. For me, I think the journey started when I was in middle school and I came home one day and said I wanted to be an aerospace engineer. And I started to put together, what does it look like? What do you need to study? What's in high school? Like, what program do you need to go into? And I was really fortunate that the school that was just miles from my house um, had a Project Lead the Way Engineering Academy. And I'll never forget that, that first day I was struggling with the hand drawing and hand perspective. And you start to get challenged by, is this really for me? Is this a skill that I'm gonna be able to learn well? Albert came into our program uh, in 2002 as a ninth grader. I was in the process of bringing in the Stratasys 3D printing machine. And I was telling them, I said, you know, this equipment's coming in and if you can dream it, we can make it. We're gonna dream things that you wanna make. We're gonna design them and then we're gonna print them. And that's how we started. That's when things really clicked for me and the design made sense of being able to look at the world around me and from different relative reference frames and different perspectives. And I started to excel in that program. As I started at the university level, getting into those classes where you started to have to design things and manufacture things, it was so advantageous to have had that backdrop. A random family emailed me saying, could you build our son a bionic arm? So the first thing I did was say, yes, like, we'll try. And then I called all my friends because I said, I don't know how to do that. Do you know how to do that? And we started putting things together on the computer using Autodesk and the same 3D printer that our university had, which was the same one that we had in the high school program. And so that gave me that starting point. And from there, we were able to build on that to be able to create that very first bionic arm for a child that first summer. Little by little, we started getting flooded with emails from families all over the world, sending us pictures of their child, sharing their story and their, their challenges of being able to get a prosthetic. And I think that was the day where a lot of our, our original co-founders, we, we looked at each other and we said, you know, I just can't walk away from this. For us, we really believe that the arm is a vehicle for children to be able to express themselves. It also needs to function and have that like complex electromyography for multi-gestures and being able to do different hand states. But ultimately, it becomes a piece of their identity. And what we hope is that the children discover that they have all that confidence, all that ability, that they're gonna be great and change the world, and that they had that in them all along. And hopefully the arm is a vehicle that helps them get there looked into Limitless and just trying to see what was going on and what's the viability for something like this. Fast forward, we're taking some measurements without Zachary knowing why we're taking measurements or asking for drawings without him to understand why he wants drawings. And next thing you know, box arrives Christmas Eve. And when I open it, I'm like, what, what is this thing? It's just like an arm. And I'm like confused, but I'm also excited because like, this is mine because like my present and I'm like getting really eager to try it on. And then as soon as as soon as he put it on and it closed for the first time. And he's like, I wanna I wanna give mommy a two-handed hug. And I wanna give brother a two-handed hug. I wanna give daddy a two-handed handed hug. Kind of like hugging a bit for the first time. For like you're not really like you have it's like you haven't really you've done it a lot but you haven't had the full experience until now and that's like the really fun and good part that was that was a special special day a lot of people ask like what happened to your hand what happened to your hand that was like the most common question but now like like when i would wear it they're like where did you get that cool hand where did you get that how can i get one and like everyone's mood changed from like sad to like excited and like curious. Albert, to take away, take away someone's shyness or not being able to talk or come out because they're missing a limb 
and to take that and put it aside. Don't worry about it. I'm just, I, I can't be any more proud to know that he's a part of that and Project Lead the Way was right in the middle of it, all the way from start to finish.